on August the 16th, 1960, long before man had set foot on the moon, military pilot Joe Kittinger took a journey to the edge of space to explore the outer reaches of the atmosphere. He travelled not in a rocket, but in a giant helium balloon. He reached 31 kilometres. high into the stratosphere, twice the height of the lightning. Then Kittinger did something astonishing. He jumped. This is a film he took on the way down. He fell to earth reaching a speed of almost 1,000 kilometers an hour. Yet at this altitude, the atmosphere was so thin, he experienced no wind resistance. He could feel absolutely nothing. I had no ripple of the, of the fabric, uh, my pressure suit, and I, I, it was a very weird sensation. I had no, uh, no visual reference on anything, so I, I thought I was really suspended in space. Only when he re-entered the troposphere, the lower atmosphere, did he experience the deafening but reassuring roar of air rushing past him. Finally, he deployed his parachute. His jump remains the longest free fall in history. Just 15 minutes after he jumped, Kittinger was back on the ground. Falling from over 30 kilometers high, Kittinger had plummeted through 99% of the gases that make up the atmosphere. 15 minutes before I'd been at the edge of space, and now to me I was in the Garden of Eden. I mean, we really don't appreciate what a beautiful planet we have. Even though Kittinger had jumped from high in the stratosphere, he still didn't reach the furthest edge of our atmosphere. Above are two more protective layers, so wispy and tenuous they barely exist. But both are vital for our planet and for us.